Hello everyone, good evening, welcome to my video blog for tonight. Question is this, is there a such thing as Facebook depression? Well, I've heard this term uh, being circulated around a bit and I decided that I would do a little bit of research. I did and what I found was rather interesting. So I stumbled across an article from Forbes.com written by Alice G. Walt Walton, uh, one of their contributors. This is back in, in 2015, uh, April the 8th, 2015. And it says, new study links, this is the, their headline. Uh, this is under the pharma and healthcare uh, category because it's, a, it's a, a health issue. And it says this, new study links uh, Facebook to depression, but now we actually understand why. So they understand why it is. And generally speaking, what they concluded in this, uh, in this uh, article here, or summarized, was that it's not so much Facebook itself, but it's the information that, the, that many of the, and the type of information, the categories of information, that many of the users are, um, are, are posting on there, which tends to be um, life events. And when you have these life events, whether it's um, uh, a wedding or an anniversary, a birthday party, um, uh, some, some major event, and you see that, well, then sometimes there can be this self-awareness or this tendency to, to, to compare yourself with someone else. Uh, let's say, and I'll give you an example of that, um, maybe someone is posting all these wedding pictures because they just got married and you're happy for them, but you start feeling self-conscious because you just got divorced. Your husband walked out and left you like like the, the previous month. Or maybe someone is posting on their, uh, on, on their Facebook page um, how they got a raise and you just lost your job the week before. Again, it's not that you're not happy for that person, but you start looking in the light. It's like there's this light that just shines down on you and says, oh wow, I feel so uh, inadequate. So that's really the issue. So this is the reason why I believe you don't hear about this so much on sites like Twitter, uh, because they're more information driven with a limited amount of characters, whereas Facebook's got all this bandwidth and you've got videos and images being uploaded all the time. And so uh, this is, in my opinion, a very real thing. I even heard a sermon about this from a pastor one time. So, uh, so, so it's something to, to think about. So I'm not here to demean any pl uh, social media platform as much as I am to say, hey, when you compare, I don't care if it's online or offline, yourself to other people, then you begin to, to feel in a negative way. And this can affect your emotions. It can affect your uh, your feelings. So, uh, have you ever felt this way? You know, maybe you want to weigh in on this. Comment uh, below if, uh, in the comment section uh, of this video blog if you'd like. But uh, uh, it's just something to think about. Uh, like I said, I, I, I'll include this uh, this uh, article from Forbes uh, within my blog. But uh, this is the question, and uh, so I believe that that it does exist. And and the thing is, is that like say. We're going to talk about Steemit, Steemit.com, for instance. Steemit is more uh, a, an exchange of information, whether we're talking about cryptocurrencies, health, finance, parenting, these kinds of things, more than about life events. It's not that you can't share your life events. We do it all the time, but but there is always this, this certain angle or focus that each platform has. And so I think in a nutshell, that's what it is. But but whether online or offline, uh, the quickest way to, to feeling depressed or inadequate is to compare yourself to someone else. You will, if you do that, you will always feel like you are defeated in life. So this is, this is what I'd, I wanted to talk about tonight. I've been wanting to, to, deal, to deal with this for some time now. And I would, again, uh, very much uh, appreciate hearing your thoughts on this uh, in any way. Uh, so thanks so much for supporting my video blogs and what I do, my content. I do appreciate it. I, I, I welcome you to follow me at Breaking Tonight. 
And uh, just have a great evening and a good weekend. And we'll see you back here next time. Good night, my friends.